With more than 400 million books sold in 32 languages and a hit TV series, Goosebumps is finally coming to the big screen. Please welcome Goosebumps author R.L. Stein and the film's adorable stars. We've got Dylan Minnette, Odea Rush in the center, and at the far end, Ryan Lee. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good to see you. I had the pleasure of watching this just a couple of days ago. It is super fun. Do I call you uh, Robert Lawrence? Do you prefer right, Mr. Everyone Stein? Everyone calls me Bob. It's Bob. So, Bob, how right. did it feel to see this right. come to life on the big screen? And it's well, such a it neat a, way to bring it together. It was a thrill. I, you know, I've been doing Goosebumps 23 years. <laughs> and to have a movie now is, is really exciting. Really, if I told you 23 years ago when you started this that you would be a worldwide sensation, one of the top, if not the best-selling children's author of all time, would you have believed it? And that Jack Black is going to play you in the movie? Yeah, I planned it all along. <laughs> it I figured back it. then that's what we would do. Was Jack Black, Black rather the natural choice for you? Because he seems like... He just well, you know, I, I did. I, I asked my son, I said, who do you think should play me in the Goosebumps movie? And he said, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wasn't very helpful, yeah. was he? So, Dylan, talk to us about your character, Zach, which is pretty much where it all starts, is with you coming to a new town. It's a fictional town. Right, that's right, yeah. And uh, he meets the, uh, the girl next door, Hannah, who Adea plays, and they, they form a bond right away, and, and um, she's a very mysterious father who later turns out to be R.L. Stein. Yeah. He was just screaming one night and he wants to help her out. What I love about your role, Odea, is that you are a fierce female in this. You are not Thank just you. a beautiful damsel in distress. So what was it like working on set? I mean, what's it like during lunch break when they call, cut, we break. Are you surrounded by ghouls and goblins? Yeah, and they all kind of, it's kind of like Mean Girls, you know, that opening scene where it's all the different tables. The cafeteria. We've got the ghouls and then... Um, <laughs> Yeah. What other groups were there? I don't know. The clown. The clown just stayed in character. He would just sit in the corner. Did he once, really? Once he had yeah. hair and makeup on, he would just stay in character and sit in the corner like that. That's yeah. super creepy. Yeah. It's creeping me out. I know. I'm and serious. Ryan, every spook fest needs its comic relief, and you do a brilliant job Thank as you. champ. How much fun was it to be able to take on that role? Oh my gosh, it was a blast. I think that's like one of the best parts, just because like when the audience is kind of feeling a little bit uneasy or whatever, we'll, we'll land a joke and then they can all just relax which I'm glad I could, uh, I could, I'm glad I could help. And Dylan, you are a super avid reader of all things Goosebumps, so being able to be in this must have been surreal for you. Who would we all say this is catered towards? Because I was, this, I was you in the movie. I was like the Frady Cat. Yep. So in terms of scare levels, right, who would you say this is catered towards? It's, well, it's hard to say. It's a family film. What we need to get people your age and people who grew up with Goosebumps, all my 90s kids who yeah. grew up with it, I think they'll, it has great nostalgia value for them. They'll remember all these characters. And then, of course, we've got to get the kids. And it's perfectly fine. It's not too terrifying for kids I at feel all. Like, I feel like if they're not familiar with the books, watching this movie is going to make them want to go back and read because it hints at all the monsters being unleashed all at once. And dare I say, without giving away too much, it leaves way for a scarequel, for a freakquel. <laughs> Will there be a second? It's a, <laughs> very very, very clever so. language here. Thank you, Arl, <laughs> yes, I'm enjoying well, it. There is a little cameo what? as well. Did you enjoy your movie stint? I, well, it was strange. I'm on for four seconds at the very end. Not five. Not five <laughs> seconds. Best four seconds. Four yeah. seconds. I got four. Who would you say is your favorite monster of the lot? Because I know a lot of them were really there and, you know, it was amazing prosthetics and others were CGI. What was your favorite to see on the screen? Hmm. On screen, mine was the praying mantis, just because it's probably the biggest thing in our movie. Yeah. I wanted to slap slappy. Can I say that? Yes. Or yeah, slap, you slap, should slap, want slappy. to slap slappy. I like the little gnomes. very nose. rude. Yeah. Yeah. It's I, very rude. Dylan, your favorite? I like the gnomes, too. And the werewolf looks really good. Really I didn't mean good. to take it, too. So. No, it's all good. <laughs> I'm going with the poodle. I like that. Because it's <laughs> deceiving. You think it's so cute at first. Right? And yeah. you'll have to watch it to know what we're talking about. Continued success. And a little yeah. birdie tells me how appropriate that you're born in this spectacular month of October. So we thought, how appropriate. You had your boo day yesterday? Yes. Your birthday? Yes, yes. Well, oh, my God. Look what What's we happening? have here for you. <laughs> no, this is, yes. We have the scariest cake ever. And we've got the, this is, the clown does this, stay in character. Wow. He has not spoken <laughs> since he arrived. Happy, clown. All the way. Happy boo day. So oh, oh, he does oh see. Oh, my God. So that see, is a very scary cake, I have to say. There are some worms. There's, it's chocolate inside. Uh -huh. so it is, is it edible dirt. at all or uh, just scary? That's the scary part. You have to just have faith. Apparently, there's a rotten egg in there somewhere, so whoever gets that piece is going to be spooked out. Enjoy. Happy I'm birthday. Honored. I'm honored. I'm truly honored. Does anything actually scare you as no, one who's been able to nothing. speak the heck? Nothing. nothing. 
Nothing. That's what, what, nothing. What, <laughs> nothing. What about no. these hours? What? These hours. Nothing. Getting up. <laughs> Make sure you see Goosebumps at actually his theaters. One week today, next Friday, go to breakfasttelevision.ca for more continued success. It was such a fun ride, guys. Let's eat cake. Let's do Kev, it. over to you Yay. in the newsroom. We're going to eat it with our hands. Scary. <laughs> now, uh, Dina, we need to mention, though, could we remind him of the personal touch in there? We didn't just go to some bakery and buy that. Do you know where the cake came from? Do you know that, so, okay, right. we have Amber here and Wendy, our floor directors. Now, Amber is a huge fan of all your books. Oh, and thanks. she decorated this herself, as well as, right, Wendy? Really? They had a stencil. They bought these little <laughs> yeah. worms. Oh, this is, and you know what? This I, is really. And I baked it. That's truly scary. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. why I asked if it was edible. Oh, thank you. you know yes. what? <laughs> no, but these flowers are. Enjoy. <laughs> Happy birthday. It's lovely. Make sure you check out Goosebumps. It'll give you just that next Friday. Kev, back over to you.